for, before we discuss things, I wanted to uh, um, tell you about uh, famous tennis chokes uh, in history. So one of the popular chokes here was the 1984 men's French Open. And John McEnroe, he was up two sets to love, and he had a 4-2 lead in the fourth set. And going up to this match, John McEnroe was the most dominant tennis player. And, uh, you know, with the French Open, there's a history behind that because up until then, um, an American hadn't, hasn't won uh, the French Open for like uh, several years, maybe 20 to 30, maybe even 40 years. Um, so uh, this was a major tournament for an American to win. John McEnroe was the most dominant player, and his opponent, Yvonne Lendl, was, he was kind of seen as almost a choke artist, too, because he, had, he hasn't won the big one. He hasn't uh, won a major tournament yet. And so everything was going for John McEnroe. I mean, nobody knew that, uh, you know, he's up two sets to love. I mean, he's beaten Yvonne Lendl um, many, many times, kind of owned him, really. And all of a sudden, this match, uh, John McEnroe choked, and he had he actually admitted that in an, in an interview later that year. He he just choked, and um, up until this day, he he doesn't really talk about that match. He says, you know, maybe you could talk about other matches, about my other matches, but that match, I'm I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm just not going to talk about it anymore. It's just too disturbing for him to even really recall. Okay, um, so that was 84. Uh, another popular one in tennis history uh, was Yana Novotna in 1993, uh, women's Wimbledon. So she was up 6-1 um, and 4-1 in the third set. So she was dominating pretty much. Uh, and her opponent was Steffi Graf. And Steffi Graf was already a legendary player at that time, uh, already won four Wimbledons. And Yana Novotna, she was just dominating. There were, Steffi Graf had no answers. And at 4-1 in that third set, Yana Novotna, um, just, they, he, she just couldn't put a serve in anymore. So basic rudimentary task of just putting a ball inside the court, um, it would just sail wide. Everything would just go out. Uh, and this kind of an iconic picture here, because um, after that, she didn't win another game, so she was stuck at four. Um, and she just cried uh, on the shoulders of the Ju Duchess of Kent. Uh, but it turned out, her story turned out okay because five years later she won, she, she did win Wimbledon uh, eventually. So, um, so, and then the next most popular choke, this one's kind of a sad story because we know um, what happened to Coria. So Coria uh, was up uh, two sets to love, just dominated his other opponent, very lower ranked opponent. Uh, these are all championship matches, by the way. And he led 4-4, 40 love in the third set. So he was five points away from winning the, the whole tournament, the French Open. And he actually had two match points in the fifth set. So uh, he, he just needed one more point and then it was done. <laughs> you know, he... But he had actually had more opportunities than this. And for some reason, he, he just couldn't put a serve in, like anything, like a forehand. Like he, it would, everything would just miss, like completely. Um, and it was sad um, because after this match, he was a top 10 player. He was like one of the best players on the tour. Uh, he, his career just collapsed after this, so he never really recovered. And uh, he, you know, in, there were injury setbacks as well. But um, after that match, mentally, he just wasn't there anymore. He couldn't put a serve in. Basically, after that, uh, something happened. So uh, I was sad because he's such a great, talented player. But, you know, tennis can be a very, you know, it's very mentally challenging. So those are three. Um, three major chokes in tennis history. And uh, I wanted to ask you guys if you've ever choked in a tennis, in a, any kind of sporting event, or it could be, um, could be anything else. Uh, it doesn't have to be a sporting event, could be a, a similar situation. 
uh, maybe a job interview or something like that. Um, what is there, was there a time that you kind of admit to yourself and, uh, and choked and just couldn't deliver at that particular moment? Anybody? No. Let's see who's here. Oh yeah, coach had one. Oh yeah, he had one. Yeah, it was with um, uh, playing uh, doubles with dad. It was like um, oh, it was like match. It was match point, you know, uh -huh. um, for for us. Uh, oh, you know, uh, I was uh -huh. at uh, I was at the net, uh -huh. and um, you know, we're about to win. It's match match point, right? And mm -hmm. um, uh, the you know, our opponent hit um a shot, and I was you know, it was sitting right up at the net for me to like you know kill and i and i yeah. uh, overhit it uh -huh. and it went out and uh, we ended up uh losing oh, losing that it... uh match um like i think oh. it was like uh we we're playing like uh, up to 8 it was like 8 8 all or something uh -huh. something like that and so i hit it out and and then we lost like um i don't know like 10 8 or 11 11 9 or something like that so, oh, it was still pretty close. What what was it? A super easy ball? Like you just needed Oh yeah, to yeah. It was it was just, you know, dark. I just had to take it easy and just uh, you know, place it as like I said, I was right up the net. You know, it was just sitting pretty for me. And um, you know, I just oh. uh you know, I just hit it out, you uh -huh. know, my volley. Um so uh yeah, it ended up uh and I felt really uh really uh you know, it was a real bummer. Oh, yeah. obviously yeah so that's, that's too bad but i can't i you know i i thought about that for pretty much the for like the uh, whole week a <laughs> whole know? week oh yeah 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 we've uh i've been there you know especially yeah especially with playing with dad um you know the pressure's up uh yeah you gotta be you gotta be kind of perfect <laughs> or else you know our our dad um kind of trash talks us definitely not the most supportive partner so if you miss like some easy shot, um, he'll just bury, he'll just tell you like you know what's wrong with yours you know something like that. So you just have to take it. But yeah, that's that's too bad. So why? Um, what happened there? Like emotionally, like where, did you rush it? Um, were you thinking about something else? Like uh, were you too eager? Like what what happened? You think when you missed? Yeah, that? yeah. I guess uh, like you said, it was it was. Uh you know, probably playing with, with dad and, you know, you gotta, uh, when you're, when you're playing with him, those types of, uh, balls, uh, that come to you, uh, he thinks it's automatic that you should put away it. And yeah. yeah, he's right. So there's, I guess the extra, just, um, wanting to put extra on it, mm -hmm. um, to, uh, make, me make a point, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. uh, rather than just, uh, put it in play, you know, make a good placement on it and, and you go home with the win. You know, I, yeah. I wanted to just uh, put some extra, you know, um, statement to it, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, to, to finish the, the match, but it, it didn't turn out, you know, it turned out the opposite um, yeah. way. Well, that's, that's too bad. Well, we've all had that, those easy misses up at net. 